Hi everyone, this is Trevor from Astro Backyard. Uh, we're here for another night of astrophotography. It's a Friday night, so that's always nice. A nice clear, clear night on a Friday. Uh, I always take advantage when that happens. Even though tonight happens to have a, I believe it's 88% full moon. Um, so that washes out all the uh, faint stars in the night sky, but uh, the plan for tonight is to shoot some H-alpha, which blocks out moonlight. And the uh, target for tonight is M101, the pinwheel galaxy. So this object is in the, uh, in the north direction, in the constellation Ursa Major. And uh, it's a rather large, bright, spiral galaxy. It's actually very, it's a very beautiful deep sky object. So I chose this object tonight for many reasons. Uh, I have photographed it before. Uh, the, main, the main reason for this choice tonight is it's on the other side of the moon. I didn't want to do it, shoot anything in the south across the uh, ecliptic. So this is going in the other direction. Uh, and it's bright enough to actually show up despite imaging in, in heavy moonlight. And like I said, I am going to be imaging uh, H-alpha, uh, but I want to have a complete image from uh, tonight's process. So I'm going to shoot some RGB as well, some shorter exposures, and combine that with the H-alpha and try to pull something together on a, uh, on a moonlit Friday clear night. So I'm, j I'm just in the garage here, and uh, I'm using TeamViewer as always to uh, have a look at my imaging laptop outside and uh, I'm actually uh, I've got I'm pretty deep into the uh, frames here I'm on 23 of 40 and uh, I mentioned shorter exposures because of the moonlight so if you can see my histogram there it's actually not even at halfway and uh, usually I like to push it a little farther uh, if you've seen my approach in the Horsehead Nebula video it's, uh, it seems odd to, uh, it, it looks like the frame is completely blown out, but you have to bring it right back in Photoshop. Um, but the reason I'm taking it a little easy tonight is because of, just of all the moonlight. And uh, to, to shoot um, full color RGB on a, on a moonlit night is not recommended, but like I said, I just want to get enough color to uh, create a final image and blend it with the uh, H-alpha. So I'm just looking at my RGB subs of the pinwheel here, and uh, they're looking pretty good. Uh, my guiding is uh, is doing well, and uh, considering there's a lot of moonlight, these are subs I can definitely work with. And uh, it's interesting to see that there is definitely uh, another galaxy in the top corner there, and then as well as another one, the bottom right. So I, that's half the fun of imaging. Um, if you, you're checking your star charts on Stellarium and uh, you have your object and you realize that there's going to be some more, some more objects within the, the same field of view that you'll get to uh, inspect and enjoy after uh, you process your photo. That's a real treat. I've gotten a lot of questions about using PhD for auto guiding over the years some basic tips I can give you uh, that should help you along the way are one make sure your guide scope is in focus it's a simple step but if your stars are out of focus in the guide scope you're not going to get accurate guiding two use the auto star select feature uh, you want to make sure that PhD is using the best star possible to do its job three Calibrate in the same area of sky that you're going to be imaging in. I, I calibrate on a star within the, the field of view of my object. I've switched over to uh, H-alpha now with the DSLR and uh, some thoughts on that. Um, so when you're shooting HA, you're, you're shooting much longer exposures. So there's a few things to think about uh, when you're doing that with a DSLR. If you're on a high ISO, say 1600, 3200 or above, that sensor is going to get really hot and really noisy. There's, there's only so much you can do about that and to keep that sensor cooler. Uh, you either have to shoot shorter exposures or you use a lower ISO. So uh, I'm lucky because it's about uh, zero degrees out here right now and uh, I'm shooting five minute exposures at ISO 800 and I'm hoping the sensor doesn't get above 15 degrees. 
So I hope to get a solid amount of uh, HA data to combine with the RGB to make a composite image of the M101 for tonight. And uh, I really consider it all to be a bonus on, on a moonlit night uh, such as tonight.